Right, this is the October project made by... I don't program in C++. So this is inspired by the Mario 64 beta. And this mod specifically takes away a lot of the controls. Like, if I press R here... It's not letting me switch from Lakitu camera to Mario camera. There's only one camera. And it doesn't let you long jump. And it doesn't let you ground pound. And you can't do dives. Like, if I run and press B, I punch. And if I try to do a jump kick here, I die. So the controls are very different. And the castle's designed differently, too. So this is what Mario 64, like, could have been with these, like, weird or worse controls. Yeah, and then you can see the custom power meter there. But even that custom intro that we saw earlier with just the Nintendo logo. So I'm pretty impressed by this hack so far. The fact that they went out of their way to actually change Mario's controls. And I'm playing this on actual console now, too via an EverDrive 64. Okay, check out the triple jump here. Yeah, the triple jump puts him into a twirl. And, the, and obviously, like, the custom uh, sound effects are different, different bridge. Alright, so this is the new castle. So, I have all the levels kind of laid out here. I'll try to go into them somewhat order. This might be the bomb battlefield here. Yeah, so this is the bomb battlefield. I like the custom coin sound effect, and it's like you can tell that it's based off the of bomb battlefield, but it's definitely a bit different. Oh, so we got Chain Chomp over there, but we can't ground pound, so we're not gonna be able to free him or anything. Oh wow, the Goombas don't have eyes or anything, just very beta like. Well, wow, that explosion was different, too. Usually the explosions aren't that aggressive. Yeah, it's just crazy to see, like, what Pokemon Battlefield could have been. It just feels like I'm in, like, an alternate dimension right now. That's the only way I can, uh, describe- wait. There's water down here. Okay, I'm playing this on console, so maybe that's why we can't see the water. Yeah, the water's, like, invisible, almost. Right, let's climb up Pokemon Battlefield here. Uh, so we don't have the boulders or anything, so this is just, uh, pretty standard right now. It takes away a lot of the challenge. It just feels weird not having, like, the different Mario Cam and Lakitu Cam and not having the long jump and just having, a, I don't know, a different arsenal of moves here, I guess. Oh, wait. Look at that side flip. Yeah, that side flip uses a different animation, too. Alright, nice! First star. I like that kind of custom star there. Yeah! A little bit more bass in the star animation too, and yeah, it doesn't have his victory animation or anything. Alright, let's uh... This probably be Hazy Maze Cave, I'm thinking. Okay, this kind of reminds me like Wolfenstein 3D or like old screensavers from the 90s a little bit. I don't know, I guess this is Big Boo's haunt, it looks like. Which is, I don't know, it's kind of weird. It's so weird not being able to dive when you're running, case. Okay, so there's a star right there. Now, yeah, so this one isn't quite as in-depth as the Bomb Battlefield one, but... Alright, next, Lethal Lava Land. I'm curious about this one. Okay, yeah, so it's a little bit similar, but obviously changed a bit, and it looks like this one has multiple stars in it. This bridge is completely gone. Oh wow, that new sound effect. Uh oh, no! Oh yeah, I'm kind of glad that I died there, because as you can see, it has a skull instead of an outline of Bowser, which is a small change. And I swear, this side flip, like, doesn't go as high. Yeah, the double jump definitely goes higher than the side flip on this hack. Yeah, and it looks like the coins, we uh, keep our coins when we die, too, which is a different way they could have done it. Okay, and our health just slowly refills, too, so we just wait along. So I'm not sure if that's what it was like in the beta, but... Very nice. 
One of the two stars. Oh, you only have one life left here, so... As they fall off just immediately. Feels so weird though, just the fact that they got rid of so many of Mario's moves. Wait, can he... Wait. Z doesn't do anything. Wait, so if I press Z right now, I can't crouch. But if I press Z when I run, I can crouch. So that's kind of weird, maybe that was an oversight. So yeah, he can still break dance. Wait, can he do a backflip if I go... Yeah, so the backflip's regular. They probably tried to make it so you couldn't crouch. But the way they programmed it, it let you when you're uh, moving, I guess. I actually like the sounds the coins make when you collect them. Okay, here we go. Uh, pretty cool, like, alternate to uh, lethal lava land here, though. I wonder if anything's gonna happen if with 100 coins. Probably get another life, because that's how it was in the old Mario games. Alright, next up, we got... Jolly Roger Bay. Uh, the music's a little bit different. Uh, this one seems to have like a fair bit of stars. Just have one right here in the open. Oh, so that's what it looks like when you've already collected a star. Okay, that's kind of cool. And I guess that's it, just one pit. And a star on the other side. <laughs> Alright, and next is... Sky one. I think this is Rainbow Ride. Yeah, this is definitely Rainbow Ride. And I bet you a side flip is not going to be good enough to get up there. Nope. But I got a wall kick there. It's weird when a double jump's better than a side flip. Like, thank god that they changed that, because this side flip is, like, honestly such good movement. There we go. Gotta say, that's kind of nice, but... It's making me nervous, this platform in here. Alright, and we're almost there. Alright, sweet. Alright, that was a really cool ROM hack there. I gotta give a huge shout out to I Don't Program in C for making this. And thank you guys for checking out this video. If you could leave a like or maybe consider subscribing to the channel, I would greatly appreciate it. And I hope that you all have a great day.